Well, the concept of free prior and informed consent is very important to every individual as a fundamental human right. And the importance is that the three elements, uh, or I should say four elements that lead to consent, first of all is consultation. An individual needs to be consulted uh, so that his consent or her consent can be achieved. So the first step is consultation. The second uh, three-part step is that it must be free. In other words, it has to be, uh, it cannot be forced. It cannot be manufactured by someone else. It's a free expression of one's own will. Then it has to be prior to a decision because sometimes uh, consent is obtained after a project is developed, for example. So it's very fundamentally important that it has to be before something happens. That's why the, the prior uh, element is critical as well. Uh, informed is just as important. In other words, the individual who's being asked to consent to something, not only must it be free, it has to also be before a decision is made. And very critically important, it has to be informed. In other words, the individual has to be uh, aware of both the pros and the cons or the advantages and disadvantages of the issue that they're going to decide on. So you have uh, uh, a well-informed based decision. So those three elements are very important to the whole um, uh, concept or principle or right to consent. The right to agree to something or to disagree to something.